What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, the update is here. Ooh, do we even have some stuff? Oh, I thought we had a free one or something like that. We might actually have one. We'll be doing some stuff later today on that, but first we need to take a look at the brand new thing. So we've been told, uh, yep, it is, there's a limit of 20, and it looks like it refreshes daily, so it's not many either for these treasure, guild treasure coupons, which is pretty interesting, so... Uh, wow, that's stupid. Oh, and scales in price too. So how much is that? It goes up 1,000 every single one starting at what, six? I mean, that's a decent chunk. Why is there not just a buy all button? Why this is, oh my, no, I have to do this every day. <laughs> I have to do this every single day. Oh man, so yeah, there's really no immediate need to do conversions, but you're gonna wanna do it pretty quickly. Um. That's kind of stupid here. Um, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. But like, let me, let me. How much is this actually costing? So six thousand, seven thousand. Okay, I want you guys to continue this out to what twenty five essentially. We're gonna get rid of this, 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 this. So equals sum of the columns. So three hundred and ten thousand per day actually yeah we might be doing this conversion uh, up here very soon then 310 per day let's see what that actually gets us though so if we come over to the treasure train uh i imagine there is a wow there's a lot of stuff here so they put the event in here they have the conversions now for if you had the old ones yeah cool so you can get those as regular treasure coupons that's fine uh you have the special search which is of course for the new stuff and we have the guild collection. Um, well, I kind of want to see what they look like first. So we have, of course, the Magic Academy. This is the new one for this one. A uh, new attribute, basic attribute, fixed bonus. Uh, interdimensional inner free team of Rina gets speed. Okay. Fixed attack. That's a lot of fixed attack, though. Uh, control immunity again in PvP game modes. Force ward damage reduction by attack and HP. That's interesting. Uh, Starland Arena. Most of these I don't really care about, honestly. I like honestly, Treasure Train seems like one of the most useless things unless you're pushing PvP content. Uh, this one's kind of cool. HP and that, not too bad. Yeah, another PvP one. Another. P I mean, these are all pretty much PvP. It feels like there's nothing really standing out special. Crit Damage Arena, Starland Arena, Trial of Champion, Force War, Starland Arena. Yeah, I just I just don't care. I mean, I guess the flat ones are cool if you can get some of them, but like I would not prioritize this if you're not a PvP or I don't think there's really much to worry about about the Magic Academy, but Adventures Guild, this is the one that we need to go for here. So this is ba oh, this is good stuff. This is essentially Guild Tech 3.0 because of course we had the original ring of Guild Tech. We had the outer ring of Guild Tech. This is Guild Tech 3.0. So instead of spending your Guild Coins just on Guild Tech, they're making you do this ticket conversion with golds, the, the Solid Us, the Guild Solid Us. And this is gonna give bonuses to all damage dealt, control immunity. Well, that kind of sucks, man. I want all damage dealt on my warriors. What the what? <laughs> no. Um, all right, so that's fine. We have damage against frozen petrify. I mean, that's kind of cool. It's interesting. Oh wow. Yes, please. Warriors against poisoned and burned. Yes, please. This is the Freya effect essentially. Uh, just raw stats, reduce damage dealt by warriors. Okay, so you're taking less damage from warriors. That's kind of cool. And this looks like it's in every single game mode. Reduce damage dealt by mages, rangers, assassins, priests. Then we get armor, skill damage, precision, armor break, heal effect. Wait, what do we get? Armor for warriors? Or wait, no. Where was it? Mage, ranger, assassin, priest. Wait, there's not one for warrior. What? <laughs> Are warriors just too good? All right, well, those overall look pretty good. Now let's uh, let's go back to the carriage. Let's see if we can actually pull anything out of these. Let's do two 10 bombs here. Let's see if we get a little lucky here. Ooh, we got a whole artifact. That's nice. Come on, come on. Give me something good. 
Shards, yeah, okay, shards, mm, okay, let's do another 10 bomb here, see if we can find something good. Please give us another whole artifact somewhere in here, please. <laughs> we got a whole green one, which I don't know if I care about, but... Oh, more stupid shards. Oh, this is going to be so triggering. Okay, so supposedly there was something else that was changed as well. So yeah, instead of instead of your treasures like being fully upgraded anymore, like you can use shard this is such an improvement and an amazing change. Like it really is because before, like my biggest complaint I think was probably what over in the seasonal one. Yeah, so these ones I like I had all these extra shards but I couldn't do anything with them. I couldn't up it to like the four star because I, j I had three of them i didn't have four of them to up it to four star so instead of what they're doing is they're they're putting fractional upgrades in so that shards mean something for every shard you get because previously if you got shards it meant like absolutely nothing even on stuff like this you had 28 it wasn't 50 or 40 you couldn't upgrade it now you can so you can actually see the difference here let's let's do a quick no, not backup. I meant black notepad. Whoops. Black notepad. There we go. I hate using white notepad. Black notepad is just so much better on the eyes. Uh, okay, so fixed attack. Currently, we're sitting at 501, 233. And fixed HP. These are the two stats we really care about. 51,185,000. If I can type this morning. Good Lord, I just woke up. Okay, so let's do that. Now let's do the quick operation. We are going to nothing to craft. So we're going to do select all. We're going to upgrade. And so this upgrades a lot of them to like special tiers of stuff. That one's a big upgrade right there. Confirm, select all, upgrade. I think that should be it, right? Yep, yep, yep. So now let's take a look. So now we're at 639, 157. So that is a really good net gain. And then we're at 60 million, 086, 526. So essentially just because of this change, we have gained an additional uh, about 150. 40,000 fixed attack for our heroes and we've gained about 9 million HP just because of this change so that I mean kudos kudos to DH games it's it was a good change it really was let's see if we can hit anything on these guys though um so those don't look like they count right yeah only regular treasure train tickets count towards this oh wow you can get even more shards now too wait a minute Oh no, is that just a whole treasure? Is that what it is? So it just gives you like... Is that what's happening here? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I guess I could be doing a special search as well with these tickets, huh? Nah, I don't care about the PvP modes. I'd rather have the, the bone stock ones, honestly. Still counts for progress, so we might get some stuff this week. If we get some bonus stuff, we'll just have to see how the events play out and... uh if we get the special package yeah it looks like they're just giving you the full shards at this point instead of giving you the whole artifact it just gives you the total number of shards that equal one so you can quick ascend both of these two right so now we're up to even more so this is absolutely a great change for anybody who has had a bunch of shards and bags so big thumbs up that so far is a great change to treasure train still a pay to win thing but uh a little more free to play friendly i'd say and then these guild ones man these guild selection ones is gonna be gonna be a little tricky hopefully you guys enjoy something let me know what you guys think about the treasure train changes and i'll see you guys next time